now that I've reached 80, which is such a triumph for me, um, I make all my own clothes. I became, uh, when my painting muse departed, I became the milliner for Barbara Hulaniki's Bieber's, a, a famous place. And so it's second nature to me somehow to make hats. I've always, always put a hat on my head from the age of three or four. It's like a shaman thing. I can't explain it really, but I make my own hats. I sit in my chair. If I'm looking at you, I'm a Presbyterian chapel girl. If I'm looking at the television, I have to be sewing my outfits. I make all of my own clothes. Uh, the only jewellery that I wear is the Andrew Logan brooch. I have them in many colours. And... Um, I've been told that I'll go to 100 now because I gave up drinking 25 years ago and smoking. And I can't tell you how wonderful it is to be 80. I mean, I was going to kick the bucket when I reached 80 until I met two extraordinary people in their 90s. One a lady, one a gent. And I said, I'm going to kick the bucket. I've done everything. What's the point of hanging on? I don't want to be decrepit and they said don't do that because the, the years between 80 and 90 you'll find are going to be the most rewarding of your life and I'm finding that already uh, my my whole place I, I, I don't put things in a cupboard I like to hurl my garments wherever they may fall so in the morning everything that you see is so inspirational to me fabrics I fabrics are an addiction with me I can't I go into uh, second-hand shops, give, what do they call, thrift shops, and uh, I pick up funny little pieces, and just a square of it will have a, a bit of embroidery, which I know I can cut out and pin onto a hat or make into something or other. And I can be even more adventurous with my clothes than I am. It takes great courage to actually take a piece of fabric and then take the scissors and cut the hole in and just put that on or say that is then a garment well in my view a garment and everything then because I have such a brilliant eye for colour that comes from my mother and my granny my granny was the most inspirational and she was she'd lost 12 children 11 children my mother was the only one to uh, survive but I loved the way I used to sit in the chapel, it's all in Welsh, and I just look at her, how she, many butterflies and caterpillars and flowers she'd pinned onto her hat, wow. so she was a big inspiration to me. Oh, I, I think when you're young, you think you're the most adventurous then, but it isn't true, because at 80, what have you got to lose? What have you got to lose at 90? I think I'll be wilder and more exuberant and... I couldn't be happier. This is the most rewarding time of my life. Girls, stick at it. That's what I say. And gents, too.